Did you find you have an MTHFR alteration and you're wondering why is MTHFR important to begin with? My name is Dr. Taranella. In this video, we're going to go into detail on why this enzyme and what it does is important for your health. So if you like this kind of information on nutrition, health, hormones, genetics, and really trying to expand and understand what's going on in your body and with your health, click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this one. All right, let's look at why is MTHFR important. Now for a quick disclaimer, the information in this video is for informational purposes only. It's not intended as a treatment for any health condition or as a substitute for seeing an actual doctor or medical profession. It should be used as an educational guide to deeper your understanding of your own health and treatment success. If medical attention is needed, don't delay in seeking that attention. All right, all right let's look at this question. What is MTHFR? So in this video, we're going to look at why MTHFR is important. As discussed in a previous video, MTHFR is an enzyme that's important for making something known as SAMe and also helping support the production of dna boost pairs. So when we say, why is the MTHFR enzyme important? Really, we're asking, why are these things important? What do they do? How do they help our bodies? So first, let's look at why MTHFR is important with regard to SAMe production. SAMe is basically S-adenosyl methionine, and MTHFR is important because it helps our bodies make that SAMe. Without SAMe, you can't make things like creatine, phospholipids. You can't repair your DNA properly. You can't detoxify neurotransmitters and many other things through the methylation process. You can't make neurotransmitters and you can't make nitric oxide. All these different processes are supported with this end product known as SAMe. Sounds like no big deal, right? Actually, it's a lot of different things. And this is one of the reasons why MTHFR is so important is because it has a very broad reach in different areas of our bodies. So we mentioned creatine. Creatine is needed in large amounts in our bodies and it's critical for energy production as a backup when we need quick energy in an instant. Phospholipids, well, these are basically the makeup of all of our cellular structure. If you think of a cell like a balloon, well, that balloon is made up of a bunch of smaller balloons that are linked together through this cell membrane matrix. And those are all made up of phospholipids. Without SAMe and MTHFR, you can't make your cellular makeup. So of course, when you have MTHFR enzyme alteration, it's not that the enzyme is completely gone and it's not working at all. It still works. Just relative how much reduction do you have and also we mentioned in a previous video that there's other ways that your body can end up making the SAMe without methylfolate. The SAMe is also important for the breakdown of different neurotransmitters and hormones. So it's needed for detoxification. If you're not able to break those down, it can lead to sometimes anxiety and unstable moods. On the other side, you also need SAMe for production of neurotransmitters. That's obviously important for mood-related issues as well. Nitric oxide is important because it dilates the arteries when the body is needing more blood in specific areas. So these are some of the reasons, but not all the reasons, why MTHFR is important. It reaches many different nooks and crannies of the body. The reason MTHFR is important is because without enough of it, you can't deliver these products in a quick, efficient manner. And that's why when there's a deficiency in this en enzyme activity, it can lead to a lot of decreased overall health. Even as important as MTHFR is, not all alterations in the MTHFR enzyme lead to critical health problems. And I think this is where a lot of confusion in supporting people with genetic alteration comes from. So I just want to emphasize that there is a lot of redundancy in nature and specifically in the biochemistry of how our bodies work. We don't all need to take the same things based on specific alterations in your MTHFR enzyme. There's a lot of variation from one person to the next in how all the puzzle pieces fit together. Now, of course, we may take two people with the same genetic alteration in their MTHFR enzyme, but they may have two totally different looking plans in terms of how to optimize their health. So I think the question to ask if you're looking at MTHFR alterations as a potential problem for your health or a way to optimize your health is what problem or what health issue are you trying to solve for? So that means what symptom or diagnosis do you think you need help with the most? Or are you simply taking a preventative approach in looking at nutrigenomics, the alterations in different things in your genome, and optimize since you have those things? So those are two important questions I think you should ask if you're looking at this genetic alteration and how to move forward for your health. And then those aren't necessarily going to give two divergent answers. They may actually be the same, but it depends on which health problems you actually have, which plan you're actually going to go with in terms of optimizing your health with this MTHFR enzyme in mind. So in summary, why is MTHFR important? 
Well, it's important because it has broad reaching effects on our health. And when you have a reduced activity in your MTHFR enzyme, depending on how much reduction in that enzyme activity is present, may mean you need to provide a lot more support to your body. So what do you think? Did that help answer the question, why is MTHFR important? It may not be the black and white answer that you're looking for, but I hope it gives you a little more understanding of why it is important and how you can better support your health. Did it help you understand why MTHFR is important? Drop it in the comment section. Let me know what you think about this video and if you have any questions. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.